Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here to my channel My name is Saye. In today's video, we're doing a much needed maintenance vlog I feel like I haven't done one of these in a very long time But it's gonna be more of an exciting maintenance vlog because I'm actually going into a clinic today to get a facial And I don't think I've done that in probably I want to say like three years it's been a very long time I'm very excited this is my first time going to this clinic if you guys watch my last weekly vlog you guys will know that I was in there for a consultation met with Taylor super sweet girl she just knows what she's talking about and I feel like that clinic is just so my vibe and they kind of have the same values as I do I also spoke with dr. Gabriella and she is so nice I felt super comfortable with her I feel like I could really like open up and tell her what my insecurities are and like things that I really wanted to work on so I'm gonna be getting a facial first and then I'm gonna be doing some Botox because I gotta get my Botox back in check and I think we might be doing um, something in my chin but I will definitely let you guys know when I'm there so I'm just zooming over right now it's about like a 20 minute drive from my house so anyways that's what today's video is gonna be I'm super excited I am bare faced today I just left my mascara on so I will check back in with you guys when I'm there and getting my skin maintenance done i also forgot to mention since i am bare faced today you guys can see that my skin has been struggling so much like i don't think i've been more stressed out in my entire life and i talked a little bit about that in my last vlog if you guys have watched that if not i will link it down below for everyone that is interested but like i've just been my skin is not happy with me so i really need to take care of it and i've just been like really on point with my skincare and like doing face masks and stuff like that so this is what she's looking like right now so hopefully this facial really helps me out because this is not is not cute Fact that we're working with needles, so there's mm -hmm. always a small chance of bruising. 
bruising, although yeah. I'll avoid any vessels I can see. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they hide on us. Mm -hmm. I'll give you ice too, which will help shrink uh, those blood vessels a bit. Perfect. Okay. That's yeah. the main thing. Amazing. Seven to ten days to start kicking in. Mm -hmm. Two weeks is when you'll see your full result. Okay. So since it's our first time working together, mm -hmm. let's get you hooked in for a two week follow up if that works okay for yourself. For sure. Yeah. Amazing. So make sure everything looks good. We yeah. can always add a little bit at that time if we need to. Mm -hmm. And then outside of that for today, just no rubbing, excessive sweating, or laying down for the next four hours. Perfect. That's why I went to the gym all in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So I'm going to get you to sign that. Yeah. Sign with your finger in the little white box. Right here. Yep. Perfect. Beautiful. You can ice the frown to be good. Yeah, perfect. It is quite cold, so don't put it on there for too long. Ooh, and now you're okay with this dose, you're not going to have a ton of movement, but you're still going to be able to express. That okay. sounds okay to you? Perfect. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Good, good, good. Alrighty. Apologies. <laughs> Is that okay for your neck? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now we're going to be in that frown. Yes. And relax. First little pinch. Pinch. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, these next guys, a little bit spicy, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two more. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. To give a nice warning for that. That area is done. Do you got eyes water. <laughs> Brow lift. Yep. So you can go ahead and ice the tail of that right brow. And then you're done. Amazing. Those are really fun. Okay, so those. She was a little giddy. <laughs> I am on my way home, you guys. I cannot express how lovely the women are at Skin Lux Lab. Like, I'm truly stunned. Every time I leave, I'm just like, I'm just in awe the whole time. Gave me a bunch of little goodies here that I will probably share with you when I'm home. But you guys, like, I have never felt so good after a facial. Like, Taylor really did her thing. She really took care of my skin and I desperately needed it. She gave me this, like, you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, but she gave me this, like, tinted moisturizer. I want to see if I can find it in here, you guys. Freaking amazing. She put it on, and I literally looked in the mirror, and I'm like, what is that? And she's like, oh, it's this, like, skin, like, uh, it's a skin tint. And I'm like, I need it, like, literally now. It is the Color Rescience SPF 50. This is what it looks like, you guys. <gasps> I cannot even believe how well it looks like it matches with my tan that i always put on i can never leave the house without my skin looking like it's like five shades lighter than my body and this is exactly what i needed so like you guys i feel so good i honestly felt like i could have slept like i said i have never been treated better i have nothing but amazing things to say about this clinic like they are so gentle with you and they care so much about your well-being and like you know what I mean like they just really enjoy what they do and it's like so obvious you know and they just I'm in such a good mood now like literally such a good mood we didn't end up doing anything on my chin we just did Botox in my forehead which is what I desperately needed my next appointment which will be in probably about a week we're gonna do Morpheus 8 and then we're also gonna do some chin filler so I'm gonna be filming that also because I'm so excited to see the result creeping through traffic right now trying to get home okay you guys i literally just pulled over before i head home i'm literally like down the street from my house but i wanted to share with you guys um this little unboxing just because i know damn well when i get home i need to eat and like i just don't have the energy right now to do it so i'm gonna do it before i head home so this is the color spf that i'm wearing literally right now on my face you guys i'm gonna be wearing this every single time that i don't have makeup on i am literally in love with this this is what it looks like here. I am just like so shocked, like amazed. And I have heard about the Zoe Skin Health. Zoe, I think that's what, how you say it, Zoe. I don't 
don't really know, but why is my phone going off every time I press record? This is the gentle cleanser for all skin types. I have not used this, but I know damn well in the skin world that this is like where it's at and everybody uses this. So I'm so excited to try this out and just kind of see how it works for me. My boyfriend actually uses the Alistin brand. Um, I think he has their like SPF skin tint also. I got their HA Immerse Serum. So I'm gonna give all of this a try, you guys. I'm <gasps> literally, I'm obsessed with Lux Skin Lab. My skin is like glowing. Also, like I've had a lot of breakouts here, which are not the best, so. Anyways, now I'm gonna go home. That was my little unboxing, three product. I am just like so excited. A mandatory thing for you guys to take care of yourself. Hey guys, what's up? It is now the next day and I totally forgot that I had an eyebrow appointment because I normally book on the weekend, but today's Thursday and I don't know why the heck I booked on a Thursday. So it is literally, I'm not even joking you, a 30 second walk from my house. It's so clutch, literally right outside my house, like around the corner. I'm just going to basically take off the makeup that I have on my face right now just because I was working earlier and I was filming. I'm gonna walk over my appointment is in literally less than 10 minutes. I'm gonna quickly do that and then I'm gonna walk over there. She basically rents a chair out of like a hair salon and it's not really like the bougiest hair salon, but whatever. She's really good at what she does and she always gives me the best eyebrows. Just gonna take my makeup off right now and I'm gonna head over there. got home it is 10 28 my appointment was at like 10 15 so that is how quick it was but honestly she always kills it for my brows like i just love how they look super fresh that is all the appointments i had for today i do have a nail fill and a pedicure booked already you guys are gonna come with me and spend almost three hours at the nail salon a couple of other things for the rest of the week for maintenance I have not got my nails done in probably four weeks and they are so grown out and just so gross. I'm also getting a pedicure. I usually get a pedicure once every two months because I find it so unnecessary to get it done every single month. Like I was doing that for a long time and I realized that it's just not necessary and it's just so expensive. Like today I'm gonna be dropping literally like $150 just on getting a fill and getting my toes done like crazy you guys already know the drill i am driving in to get my caramel macchiato as normal i really hope that i am not late it is 12 30 my appointment is at one so i have 30 minutes to get there this is what the nails are looking like right now you guys it is so grown out not cute not cute this starbucks you guys drives me insane like where are you going sir where are you going please be so for real <laughs> So I also do have some good news. So you guys saw earlier in this vlog, I went to get my Botox and a facial done, which was like, oh my gosh, so amazing. I do have an appointment there tomorrow to do my first ever Morpheus 8 session. And I'm literally over the moon, you guys. Like I've had the biggest issue with like my chin here. Like it's just genetic, honestly. It's not even that I'm overweight. I just have a lot of stubborn fat that just sits here and it just doesn't want to go away. I can that I do Morpheus 8. It's a three session procedure, but it's done one month apart from each other. So tomorrow is gonna be my very first one. So I'm very
very excited that I can actually film it and put it in this vlog because it is part of maintenance, you know what I mean? And then at the very end of this Morpheus 8 procedure, I am gonna be getting a little bit of chin filler just to like kind of, you know, give myself some shape a little bit. Like I feel like I do have a very good jawline, but as soon as it comes like from here down to my chin, it's like, nowhere to be found. I'm so not excited to go and sit and literally do nothing for almost three hours. When I get my toes done and a fill, you guys, it is like, it's too much. It is too much. I'm like falling asleep in the chair and I'm like, please just get me out of here. Like that is beauty of being a girl. <laughs> literally beauty of being a girl. Hi, I just have a mobile pickup for Saye. Yeah, Thank you. I am in such a good mood. Literally such a good mood. And this like never happens. So I hope you guys are doing amazing. Since I'm literally still in line, I'm gonna tell you guys something that happened the last time I was at the nail salon and I was like so distraught and like so upset about it. But basically I have to park in a parkade. Obviously you guys know this. And I was parked in a reserved parking spot for some other business in that building and it was only four slots and there was no other parking you guys like no parking on the street nothing so i was like well what the heck am i gonna do my appointment is in literally a minute so i just reversed i parked in this guy's parking spot and i was like you know what i'm not getting my toes done i'm probably gonna be in there for like max an hour like we're good you know what i mean like normally these people are like super understanding right little did i know as soon as i came out this guy's like standing beside my car and his car was right beside mine and he just starts yelling at me you guys like screaming i don't even really want to say it on camera like what he was saying to me but it was so foul like the language was like absurd like he was calling me a fucking bitch like he was like fuck you and i was like bro what the hell is happening right now like dead ass, I was so upset, you guys. So upset. Hi, can I get a straw, please? Thank you. Thank you. You too. Yeah, so like you guys, like I'm kind of like a little nervous to go back. Like the guy was so rude, and I was trying to explain to him. I was like, yo, listen, let me just explain to you why I've parked here because like I was getting my nails done. He's like, I don't fucking care. Fuck you. I was gonna come and tow your vehicle. I'm like, bro, tow it. Tow it, please tow it. Like, you have no right to talk to anybody like that, let alone a woman. Like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, we are on the way to go get my nails done, so I really hope I don't see him. Like, today is a holiday for people in, in Canada, so like, I don't think I'm gonna see him, thankfully. But like, yo, you guys, like, he was so rude. And I was trying so hard to like, communicate and like, talk to him. And like, he just wasn't listening. And I was like, okay, you know what? Like he was just talking over me and he was just like cutting me off. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna, like, I'm not even gonna handle it. Like, I'm not even gonna deal with this shit right now. And so I basically got in my car and you guys, I'm not even exaggerating. He's like banging on my passenger door window. Like he's like banging on it, like, like that. Okay. And so I kind of got a little bit like nervous. I was like, like, are you gonna come in, shoot me up? Like what's happening here? And as soon as I stormed off, he started like running after my car and like all of this stuff. And I was like, I cannot believe like people do this shit over something that is so easy to just talk out like adults. Like the parking slot that I was parked in was this guy's business. So like he has a full blown business. He's a business owner, right? And so I was sitting there thinking like, bro, like, are you for real right now? Like. Are you really gonna talk to me like this? Knowing that you're a business owner? Like, please be so for real. But anyways, there's a cop right in front of me, so I will be back later. <laughs> you guys, I'm actually laughing. This guy put up cones, cause I haven't been here since. Oh my God, you guys, I'm actually laughing right now. Oh, if I ever see this guy in person again, it's hands, bro. It is so hands. I'm never the type of person to do this, you guys, but I'm gonna show you who the business is. So this is his business name so disrespectful like and you guys are in vancouver never go with this guy
Okay, three hours later, we are back. Nails are on point, you guys. So fire. Literally so fire. I'm exhausted. I need to eat. And that's the only maintenance thing that I had to do today. Tomorrow is going to be a big day. So I will chat with you guys probably tomorrow and let you know how my Morpheus 8 appointment goes. So talk to you guys soon. Okay, guys, it is currently the next day at 1230. I'm just on my way to Lux Skin Lab to do my very first session of Morpheus 8. I've never done it before, so I'm super excited. I'm going to try to get the girl that's going to be doing my procedure to kind of explain a little bit about what it really is because I didn't even know what it was until like probably a week ago. I'm very excited and as I stated earlier in this vlog, this is a procedure that has to be done three times a month apart. I'm gonna be doing my very first one today and then I will probably book in a month from now to do my second session. I will chat with you guys in a little bit and I will let you guys know how everything goes. This is the fit today. Something super chill because I'm gonna be sitting in this chair for a long time. So we're here, we're gonna be taking my before pictures of this little chin that we're gonna hopefully fix. Okay, so one and one. Yep. And right. hair back or forward? Back, please. Okay. And then if you can tuck your hair. Mm, yeah, is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, as long as that one's stupid. No, you don't look stupid. Okay. okay. I'm actually just gonna help okay. just because this little piece will look better back. Sure. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. And am I like here? smiling? Just it's like a passport photo. Yes. <laughs> just a rest. And then you're yeah. gonna be smiling as well. Perfect. We're gonna do the exact same thing, different angles. We're gonna go to two. And then I find that it's easier just to look straight in the corner. I feel like this is gonna be the best picture because. And then the weird one, if you don't mind lowering your chin. Yeah. <laughs> and then eyes up for me. Wait. Perfect. And if my makeup gets messed up, I honestly don't care. I'm just going home after this, so. <laughs> What's the Belkyra like? Is the Bel it is an injectable. Just... Okay. Um, it's an enzyme that's injected and melts that fat. Mm. Yeah. It so it's not stuff. like the it's not like anything like this. No. So just okay. a single needle. Mm. And it kind of... I think that was so good. I it all it honestly feels super tight right now. Yeah. Like I just swollen. I kind of like it though. <laughs> yeah. It just feels better already. Yeah. yeah. So that inflammation will Ooh. go down. Get, I might get a little bit more swollen tomorrow. Okay. No worries. Um, a little dab of cream if you need it on the areas. 
just finished up. I am finally back in the car. This area, you guys, I wasn't expecting it to be like that, but honestly, I think I did pretty well. Like even Mackenzie was like, oh my gosh, girl, you literally killed it. I think it's just one of those things, like it hurts less if you don't think about it. It definitely is swollen right now, like, and I can feel it and it's not the best feeling, but you know what? Beauty is pain, okay? And these are the things we need to do. So they have an entire plan made out for me. So after I finish these Morpheus sessions, they're gonna go in with some chin filler and like hopefully that is gonna be it for me. But basically what this procedure does is it has like a ton of needles, which I've shown you guys already. It just like punctures into your skin and it burns and melts the fat away. Literally as simple as it gets. We shall see, but you guys, I am headed home right now before I literally hit rush hour traffic. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see underneath my chin right now, like it almost looks like I got zapped. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is just about 7.50 right now. I wanted to hop on here because it is currently the next day. I wanted to share with you guys what the aftermath of the Morpheus 8 on my chin looks like. It is not the greatest look. I'm not allowed to wear makeup today. I have to leave like the wound open because if I do put makeup on it, it's gonna, you know, get contaminated and it's just not gonna heal properly. So as you guys can see, it is red and scabby. It should be going down in a couple of days, but it is so tight. Like this area is super tight and it almost looks very swollen here. Like it just looks like it's, it looks worse than it did before. Apparently that's, that's the process. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I am just about to go to the gym right now, but like I have to put like tinted moisturizer on and like I can't film today. So like, this is just so not my routine. So I just wanted to be transparent with you guys and show you that this is the reality of getting work done on your face. But I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this with Lux Skin Lab. So that is a little update. It does look like it hurts and it did hurt. It did hurt. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you guys. It did hurt. It feels much better today. And I, I do have some product that they gave me that I have to put on like this scab, but obviously I'm not supposed to touch it. I'm just supposed to allow it to just heal and do its thing. So that's a little update for right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's been a couple days. Um, I've honestly been putting this off for so long because I know I have to do my everything shower routine and like wash my hair like you guys. My hair is so greasy. Like it's not even funny. Jaws is sleeping literally in front of me yet again. Um, but I wanted to pop on here and just show you guys how my chin is healing. So I don't know if you guys can see, but the scaling has gone down quite a bit and it is not as red as it used to be. But let me tell you guys, it is so itchy. I can't even like, I swear sometimes I'm like itching it in my sleep because I'm so itchy. So that is definitely a downside for this type of treatment. I didn't like the fact that it was super, super itchy, especially in its healing stages. And you're not supposed to be itching it. And I try my best. I truly do. Sometimes I'm just like, I just try to like rub my hand on it just to like get that itchy sensation away. And another thing, it is the time of the month right now. So my skin absolutely hates me. I don't know if anyone else struggles with that, but like every single month when it's the time of the month, you guys, my skin is like, nah. Obviously you guys saw earlier in this video that I did a facial, like I've been taking care of my skin, okay? It's just like not doing well. Like especially this area here, she's not looking cute. We're gonna try to do um, some home skincare and see if we can just kind of bring this back to life. But anyways, today I have to do my full shower routine. I've got a exfoliate. I've got to shave. I've got to do my self tanner routine. Like there's a lot of things I need to do today. I'm going to walk you guys through that. I'm sure if you guys have been here on my channel for a long time, you guys have seen this already. So I will try my best to make it not repetitive. I've been actually doing a couple things differently in my everything shower routine. So let's go ahead and get this started. <laughs> I'm gonna start off by doing a little bit of waxing on my legs and I like to use a sugar-based wax. This will ensure your hair grows back softer and thinner. I have done laser in the past, so I don't have a ton of hair, but I like to do this once in a while. Mm -hmm. 
Next, moving along, we're going into the shower. I'm gonna start off by washing my hair. I'm going to soak my hair from the roots to the tips, and just ensuring that we have soaked the hair fully. Next, I'm using the Native Cucumber and Mint Shampoo. I love how clean this scent is. We're gonna focus on the scalp and not the hair itself. I like to leave in my shampoo for about three minutes before rinsing. For my conditioner, I'm using the same brand, Native, and I'm gonna apply to the bottom half of my hair, and then I'm gonna use the remaining at the very top. If you guys have been here for a minute, you guys know how much I love a bar soap. I'm using the Dove Cucumber Bar Soap, and I'm just using that as an extra cleanser, and I feel like it just gets me really clean and just gets all of the dirt and the grime off my body. <laughs> Moving on to the best part, exfoliating. I love to use the Dove body scrub. I don't know what it is about this product. It just gets rid of everything and it helps with getting rid of oil and dirt and just my self tanner as well. Exfoliating your body is also going to help with getting rid of any dead skin cells and just the smoothness and texture of your skin and the overall appearance. Moving along, I'm gonna do some shaving. I did do laser in the past, so I don't have a lot of hair to get rid of. I just have some peach fuzz and things I just want to smooth over. <music> Lastly, we're using the Tree Hut Vanilla Sugar Scrub. Because I did dehydrate my body with all of that scrubbing, we're gonna bring a little bit more moisture back into the skin and this is just gonna help lock in everything and it's gonna help your skin feel super soft. <laughs> Now we're using a foot file. This is gonna help with the overall feeling of your feet and they're gonna be super soft and clean. Once I'm out of the shower, I'm gonna do my skincare for the night. I'm gonna be using the gentle skin cleanser that I was talking about earlier in this video and I absolutely love it, you guys. It gets rid of every single thing on your face, makeup included, waterproof makeup. It is such a game changer cleanser. I better fire your heart. I better fire give up. Now I'm just gonna rinse my face and we're gonna be drying my face with a disposable towel. You guys, if you guys are using a reusable towel, please throw that in the garbage and get yourself some disposable wipes. Now I'm using the Clarity Toner by Pixi. The most important step, we are doing the Skin Cuticles Serum. This has probably the worst scent I've ever smelled my whole entire life, but it works so good. And I was so impressed by my results. I've been using this for the last couple weeks. It has completely cleared up my skin. And the last product we're using, the Collagen Serum by Pixie. I absolutely love this. It really brightens up my under eyes and it helps with my collagen production. To lock everything in, I'm using the Pixie Clarify Mist. And that is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Ciao.